Hi guys, welcome to the video by me, ComputerFi, and today I have another Visual Basic tutorial for you. Basically, focusing on what I did in the last tutorial, which was creating a check for updates. I think it was the last video, but creating a check for updates function for your Visual Basic application. So in that tutorial, if you may, if you've seen it, uh, there'll be a link in the description if you haven't. Uh, what we did is we went the long way around and we used like web clients and that's all quite advanced and not, not really many people use them uh, but in this tutorial what I've done is I've created a DLL file to help us create or an API to help us create our Visual Basic application now basically an API or a DLL just helps us or simplifies code down so we can code our applications 10 times easier so uh, what you want to do is just follow along if it does it might get a bit advanced for you at certain points but just keep following along and you'll get it so a requirement is what you want to do is just go to the link in the description and download this uh, .NET updater file here uh, .NET updater version 1.0 zip uh, the link as I said the links in the description uh, download that uh, it's a zip file just extract that and you'll get these four items here so when you've done that what you want to do is uh, just go to uh, in your VB project just go to project add reference uh, go to the browse section click browse and locate where you've saved or you extracted your .NET update file at and get the DLL file uh, it should show and just click add and then just click OK so it's now imported in our application or it's in our application but it's not being recognized so what you want to do is just go to uh, your code and just type in imports.netupdata so now VB is partially recognizing it but we still need to dim, the vet, dim, dim it in our application or make it a variable in our, our application so what you want to do is type in dim updater no, yeah, dim updater as new dot net updater dot updater. Where you want the code to be executed, so I'm just going to create a, bu a button, uh, especially for this, I'm just going to call it check for updates. And I'm going to double click that button, and then what you want to do is type in updater dot check internet con or connection. Uh, which will check you in a connection before it runs the update uh, and then what you want to do is just do updater dot check update and it will ask for two strings one of which is the file location which I'll explain now the file location what you will need for this is requirement uh, is a free hosting account I recommend Dropbox as it's simple to use and you get two gigabytes free. Uh, so what you want to do is in Dropbox in your public folder in your public folder uh, just go in there right click click new and click text document and call it version.txt so when you've done that just open that and just type in that should be version 1.0 sorry about that just type in 1.0.0.0 uh, and don't forget to save it so then just leave that for now and what you want to do is just right click copy public link and paste that into there and then in here it is asking for your current app version so the, app, the, the basically the version of this application what you're creating which I'm just going to call mine 1.0.0.0 make sure you've got them three decimal points in there and uh, what you want to do after that is type in if updater dot update available equals true then message box dot show uh, no message box and I'm just going to put update available and then you can maybe put an else statement and just put message box you up to date so wh what you want to do after that message box update available is type in another uh, updater command and you want to type in updater because it's what we declared up here I want to type in updater dot get update so this is where you're going to download the update 
and it's asking for the exe location now this is the bit where you have to bear with me because it is quite hard to explain but what you want to do is basically just in your uh, where you've got your version.txt just basically create a exe file called update.exe so this is where all your updates are going to be stored and basically what you're going to want to do every time you say this is your original version I'll explain it in a better way so this is your original version here that uh, you want people to download so in fact I'll explain it in a better way for you what you want to do is just uh, if you've got, say this is your original version here, this is, ignore that file version that you can see there, but say that's version 1.0 of your application, so the, the first version, and say there is another 1.1 version or uh, 2.0, what you want to do is with the new exe, new exe or the new installation file, which will be an exe, uh, you want to paste this in, and you what you want to do is make sure that the file you're pasting in is the same name as the update.exe if you don't do it right it won't work so what you want to do is right click paste and make sure as I said uh, the file you are pasting in is the same name as the exe that's already in there so update.exe and it will ask you to replace the file you want to replace the file so that the new version has over overwrite the original file that was on there so what you want to do after you've done that if that if that doesn't make sense you might have to go back and listen a few times or do something like that because it is quite complicated but once you get it it's fine and what you want to do when you've done that is right click on the update.exe or and just right click and click po copy public link and you want to paste that into there so I'll, I'll maybe explain it a bit better but say I've created a new version of my application this is maybe months ahead I've created a new version of my application and I want to uh, update it I want to add a new update to it so with the original file that was there just right click and paste it in it will ask you to replace the file and you want to replace the file as it is an update so I'll explain it now because we have basically finished our application and yes let's test it so what you want to do when you when you debug your application just test it out I'll click check for updates and it'll say you are up to date because the file version here or the application version is the same as that version.txt there however if I change that version to a newer version because say there's a newer version out you would replace that file with the newer version make sure it has the same name and I would you don't need to change that just run your application again and since the versions are different you click it and it will go update available I've spelled available wrong there I think yeah I've spelled available wrong but never mind uh, I will say update available when you click OK what will happen is it will load uh, your file from the internet uh, because that's the URL we specified and will show the latest update for your application so that's it for this video it, if that was a bit hard to understand I apologize but um, you might as I said you might have to watch this video over again a few times just to make sure that you're doing everything right but uh, yeah once you get the hang of it it should be simple enough to implement into your applications so as I said the link for this file is down in the description for the zip file you can download that and just follow along with this tutorial so give this video a thumbs up if it helped you create an application or create a check for updates function in your application and yes thanks for watching guys and I will see you again in the video